moving a little bit of dirt today. What we're doing here is we got a site that we have cleaned up. But there was a house and some buildings, a bunch of trees on it. Tore all that stuff down and burn it, got rid of it. And now we're going to grade a uh, spot to park some uh, box trailers for a pallet company. So that's what we're working on. We're, we're peeling the topsoil off of this property right now. It's about an acre, a little under an acre. Filling the topsoil off and we're going to grade it to where they can park their trailers in here. So that's what I'm working on now is loading topsoil. I was running the dozer, pushing the topsoil up in the pile. Before lunch, I had a, a helper running the excavator for me, loading the dirt. And uh, after we went to eat lunch, he had to go to another job to do something. So. Now I'm loading the dirt, and I guess I'll be running the dozer too. Well, my dad might help me, he's over there. He's talking to a VDOT guy right now. He might come over here and help me once he gets done. But I'm running the Komatsu PC200 again. Same machine that you've seen in uh, some of y'all have probably seen monster stump removal and intense tree removal and my dump truck guy he didn't hear my horn apparently give me one more bucket i run a whole lot of equipment i run uh 320 cat 225 John Deere, uh, just several, I've run several of these 20 ton size excavators and this is probably my favorite one. The 320 Cat's a pretty nice machine, it's a 320C, the one that I run. It's a pretty nice machine. Oh, we also got a 320D that I run some. It's, it's even nicer than the C. But for some reason, I still prefer to run this PC 200 over all of those. I don't know why I just do. I don't know. I just I just like how strong it is and the speed of the the speed of it. And I don't know. It just suits me better. It seems like. But. That's just my opinion. It doesn't mean necessarily wrong or right, just opinion. Got another dump truck. So, the dozer we got on the side is a D6M don't have a cab on it so obviously it don't have air conditioning it's about 90 degrees today but uh, it ain't too bad really to run it it's got the canopy over it, it ain't too bad uh, the worst part about it is, is it's so dry right now with all the dust just covers you up running the track machine out in the open like like that dozer get so much dust on you when you get off the machine in the evening, you stand up, all the dirt just falls off of it in the floorboard of the machine. It's ridiculous how much dust to accumulate on you. You know they can't be good for your lungs, but I'm not gonna wear a mask riding around on a bulldozer all day when it's 90 degrees. That wouldn't be fun. Well, Looks like my excavator operator may be back, so I'm gonna go get back on the full boat. It is nice.
nice and cool in here though. I hate to have to get out, but I'd rather run a bulldozer. That's the way it is. Even if it ain't got a cab on it, I'd still rather run a bulldozer. I don't know why that is. The only thing I can think of is it's uh, a bulldozer more like a farm tractor, I guess. And I'd rather run a farm tractor than any of them, so the only thing I can guess is that's that's the deal. All right, I got my helper back, so he's gonna keep loading. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go back to the D6. This is where the old house was right here. You can see a well down there in the hole. We gotta fill the wells in. There's a hand dug well right there. And uh, we had to get the county involved in that. This was the basement of the house. We're gonna fill it in eventually. We gotta compact it all back in there. Anyway, I'll get on the 6M here and go to work. You ain't gonna be able to hear me cause I ain't got no cab. Some of you are probably wondering why we're doing what we're doing. You're probably wondering why are we cutting off the first eight or 10 inches of dirt on this site and loading it on dump trucks and hauling it off. Well, around here, I don't know if it's like this everywhere, but I assume it's pretty similar. Um, we basically classify the dirt and 
two basic classes. You have topsoil and field dirt. I know there's lots and lots of different types of dirt, sandy dirt, clay type dirts, and you know, uh, a lot of you are farmers and you know what I'm talking about, but when you're grading, this topsoil, you have to get it off and get it out of the way. It's got the vegetation, the grass and roots and from the trees that you might've removed and all this stuff in it. And you can't use that type of dirt to fill in a hole or fill up or, or, or raise a grade on an area. Um, it won't compact. It just kind of, it's always stays mushy. If you, if you try to build something out of topsoil, build a parking lot, it'll just, if you drive a loaded truck on it it'll just start pumping up and down and even if you put asphalt and gravel and all that over it it's still it will go all the way back to to your subgrade um, and start pumping and you'll have a big mess so the topsoil does have a value though this actually has a higher value than the field dirt so what we are going to do with the topsoil is we take it and stockpile it and some of it will come back to this job once we get the, the parking lot built there'll be some slopes and there'll be places that the owners will want grass um, and what we'll do is put the topsoil back on the slopes and, and the grass areas and we'll plant grass in it because field dirt won't grow grass very well it will eventually if you put enough lime and fertilizer and everything else on it, but the easiest thing to do to get grass to grow is just put topsoil back and then you can put some fertilizer and lime on it and you don't have to put very much and, and you can typically get a good stand of grass on it. So, uh, topsoil is typically black, like a black or real dark brown in color and your field dirt around here is typically more of a reddish color. And uh, anyway, that's why we're taking the topsoil off and hauling it. And whatever we have left over, as far as topsoil goes, we will most likely screen it through a screening machine, get all the rocks, sticks, roots, and stuff out of it, and we can then sell it. Um, and you can do that with topsoil. Field dirt, not so much. Field dirt, basically, you have to just give it away. It's not any value to it, really. Now, topsoil screen the topsoil you can you can get some money out of it but uh, anyway just thought I would explain that while sitting here waiting on the some of this topsoil to leave it's still loading on trucks well, I guess that's gonna be it for this video uh, I'm sure it's plenty long by now so. We'll see y'all in the next one. Y'all be safe. Buddy.